Hey, what's up you guys? Okay, so I've got a couple of different things to show you. I've got two new to me companies that I'm excited about. And um, they're, they're wax and sugar scrubs. And then there is a giveaway, a little give back that I wanna do at the end. Um, what happened was I did a bath bomb video the other day and I unboxed one of these boxes already. Um, I scrapped the bath bomb demo because and this unboxing video as well because I had a headache and honestly it just it wasn't any good and that was just because I just wasn't any good my heart wasn't into it I just it just wasn't really what you wanted to see it just wasn't what I think up to par for my videos so I just kind of scrapped both of those um, the demo was the witch baby heartbreak hotel so it wasn't anything earth-shattering because um, you know the demos are out there and it was just you know a witch baby coffin bomb that we've kind of all seen and sadly enough it's the second time I've done that demo and y'all aren't gonna get to see it but um, anyway I'm gonna show you the products that came out of that box today anyway and kind of you know re, re go over those things to show you so I'm gonna do those first um, okay, so these are from the bathing garden, and I was really excited for these products because um, they just seemed really, really cool. And this company has been out and around for a long time, and I think they're pretty popular. Okay, so this is a sugar scrub, and this is called Chic Summer. And the description on this one is creamy vanilla blended with peaches and strawberries. And these did have um, some wrapping around them. It just it was like plastic and it was perforated on the side. So I just unwrapped it. It was pretty easy. And um, that's what it looks like on top. It's really, really pretty. And it just pretty much smells like um, the description. It, peaches and strawberries. It's a really light, um, very blended peach and strawberry with a little vanilla in the background scent. So I really do like this one. And this one is called Seven Layer Cake. And the scent description on that one is Mounds of Sugar Frosting, White Cake, and Hint of Strawberry. And this one to me just pretty much smells like frosting and cake. It's hard to detect the strawberry, but it's really pretty. That's looks like a real, I think that's a real rose, rosebud in there. So that's really, really pretty. But it's really sweet. I really like that one too. Okay, so I got two more. This one is blackberry jam and lemon curd. Also very pretty on top. Right when you open that, the, the lemon just comes, just bursting out. Um, lemon can go several different ways. It can be really, really tart. It can smell like cleaner. It can smell candied. This lemon is really sweet, and I really like the way this lemon smells. I can't really detect the blackberry in there very much. Um, I really, this is really pretty. I don't know that this is something that I would use a lot just because I have so many. I prefer, I think I've decided that I prefer berries as far as fruits go and more of the sweet scents. Um, I think that I'm gonna gift this to someone, but I really do like this scent. I think it's a really pretty scent. This one is called Tropical Fairy Garden. And that's what this one looks like. They're all very, very pretty. Um, this one I couldn't find the scent description for, but it's got a lot of the description. I did, I saw it. Uh, what I can remember is it does have like some berries, different, different fruits in it. This one smells florally to me with um, the fruits mixed in and it smells like it smells like a Bath and Body Works scent to me. I used to back in the day in my 20s be a Bath and Body Works freak. Um, obviously I'm headache prone and to me Bath and Body Works even the fruity scents have a floral undertone and now I really really can't do Bath and Body Works so that's what this smells like to me. It does smell what most people would say fruity but it does definitely have a floral undertone, so I'm not gonna be able to keep this one, but these two right here are gonna probably make a really good gift for somebody. Um, 
So I'm going to keep those and probably pair those as a gift. Okay, now this one came, um, and these are mango butter sugar scrubs. So actually, okay, this one says mango butter, mango butter, mango butter. This one says coconut oil sugar scrub. Okay. Okay, let me clarify something too, because sometimes, obviously, I'm wrong a lot of the time about um, things. The witch baby scrub that I like so much, the Heartbreak Hotel, back to Heartbreak Hotel again, is a salt scrub. In my sugar scrub video, I referred to it as a sugar scrub. I didn't know any better back then, but since then, a couple of viewers have told me that it's a salt scrub, and I do know that um, now, so thank you guys for setting me straight on that. But if I do refer to it as a sugar scrub, again, I do know better, and I'm just, I'm just used to saying sugar scrub. Um, so anyway, this one is different as far as, I guess, the oils and the butters that this one has in it compared to these three. And this one was a sample, it's a very nice size sample. This one is Crackenberry, and this is a rosehip sugar scrub. So this smells like berry. I can't, I can't decide what exactly it smells like, but again, this has kind of a floral undertone, so this might be going in the gift bag too. But I think it's nice, it's a nice scent. Okay, um, so the waxes I got, um, this is the Chic Summer scents too, and I haven't had any, I guess these are clamshells, I haven't had any like this yet, any wax that's looked like this. So I think that these are pretty cool. I think they're really, really pretty. And yeah, this smells, um, smells just like the scrub yeah, it's just a really, really blended, nothing really pops out at you more than the peaches, the strawberry, and the vanilla. Nothing really pops out at you more uh, one scent than the other. So I like, I like that. And also, I got a seven layer cake to match that scrub. Not to match it, but it just sounded good. And this is like the end of their summer collection. A couple different uh, summer collections combined. That's the seven layer cake. So I just kind of wanted to make sure if I really liked a scent that I didn't wish I had gotten the scrub or wish I had gotten the wax. This is just really sweet and cakey and frosty. So frosting E. So I like that one too. Um, this one is coconut sugar ice lollies. Now this one, when I first opened it up, I was like, what is that? What is that? This, to me, I don't have the scent description for this one either for some reason. This one, to me, smells just like Rockstar. So, I'm thinking it was like bubblegum and something else. I don't know. Whatever Rockstar is supposed to be. But that's what this one smells like to me. Um, so, that's a score. I love that. I love that. And it's so pretty. That's a real dried flower in there, too. This one is really cool looking. This one is called Pirate Punch. That is just gorgeous. I love that one. And this is what they look like on the back. Now this one is described as sweet coconut, pineapple, and tropical floral. Now when I read that, when I, when I got it home, I thought, what in the world was I thinking? Because if it has floral in the description, normally I would like just stay which is miles away from it. But then I smelled it, and it just smells like a tropical drink. It smells like, not really a pina colada, but just a mild tropical scent. And I don't detect the floral in that, which is funny. So I don't really know what I was thinking when I ordered it, um, but I do like it. And it's just so, so pretty. So I do like this one. And that's why, you know, you can't really tell a lot of times with these kinds of products, if you're gonna like them or not until you get them home. Um, and you can always destash, try to destash your stuff on these wax destash pages on Facebook or scrubs or whatever. I haven't had a lot of luck with that. I have gotten um, done, not even a trade, I think I've done a sale or two with the Candy Panda, but those kind of get complicated or take a lot of time or whatever. They just don't seem super easy to me. But anyway, don't be afraid um, to buy stuff and try it if you 
have people you can give them to or trade with or feel like you're comfortable with de-stashing on these groups. Anyway, okay, so that is the bathing garden and this box comes from Ramble on Wax. So I have not opened this at all, so I'm really excited about this. Okay, now I think that these have a little bit to do with music. I don't remember. I ordered this, I don't know, last week, I think. Um, that's really cute. That's really cute. Now, I think these are just scrubs. Unless they're, um, oh, look at the black and white. Oh, love that. Unless there's like some wax samples in here. I'm going to go ahead and move these back some. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. I smell something florally. Oh my gosh. Now this, I'm not sure about. Mm, that's just stuck in there with no wrapper or anything. Oh my gosh. It's a little owl. Um, I don't know if that's wax or soap. I honestly don't. I can't tell. Um, I'm assuming it's wax, ramble on wax. Um, that's cute, I guess. I can't tell you what it smells like. Okay, this obviously is a wax sample. It says, cheater, cheater. Okay. Oh, okay, look at this. It came out. Oh, it came out. That's weird. Oh, this, it busted. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, REM. REM cycle. Okay, we'll have to look that up. And then this one is called cheater, cheater. Let me smell this one. That's weird how that busted inside the box. Oh, God, I don't know what that smells like. Yeah, oh God, I just, mm -mm. If it's not like a distinct fruit or some flower that I know of or some other distinct scent that I know of, I can't tell you. Mm -mm. I can't tell you what it is. Okay, look. Oh, my gosh. Now, I'm learning about the wax, and I'm enjoying the wax, but the sugar scrubs are my just, uh, I'm obsessed. Okay. And I heard that these were awesome. Okay, it doesn't look like this tops on very good, so I don't know about that. That's kind of scary. Um, okay, anyway, Love Hungry. This is Love Hungry. Let me switch my notes. Okay, this one, let's open it. Wow, oh my gosh. Look how full that is so full. That must have, like, blown up and expanded in the box. Oh my god, I just, I want to, like, lick that, like, frosting. <gasps> you know when you open something up? And you just kind of lick the top <laughs> like like yogurt I'm thinking like yogurt like the top of the yogurt oh my gosh okay let's see oh my gosh that smells like fruity pebbles okay oh yeah okay 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 I'm excited this says fresh strawberry jam sandwiched in between almond macaroons crusted with fruity pebbles cereal <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay, I think I really like that. I do smell the berry, I smell the fruity pebbles. I might smell the almond, like almond oil in the background. Okay, that's just, ah, I like that. That looks like, that's so creamy, that looks like, we'll just say another company that I really, really, really like their scrubs because it's so creamy. And then y'all are gonna know who, I, who I'm talking about. It's really, okay, I'm gonna get off this one. That's just so full, I can't hardly put the top back on. Okay, let me just ditch this box here. Okay. Um, now, I don't have any clue how to pronounce this. We're gonna, we're gonna say, y'all tell me, somebody out there knows how to pronounce this. Zeos, Zos, Zos, <laughs> theory. And this means something I have no earthly idea. I don't understand it. Um, okay, this is grape strawberry raspberry cotton candy frosting white cake strawberry preserves and caramelized vanilla now i'm going to open this it's going to go everywhere wow that's gorgeous oh my gosh that smells like strawberries like okay if you got frozen strawberries and 
you've let them you've let them thaw out like in the bag to to cook with that's what this smells like this is amazing and it's I guess it smells like it might smell like like cake or vanilla but oh my god this is this is amazing oh my gosh I've got to put that down because I just I'm gonna keep saying that and I just can't drive that home anymore that is a keeper and you know what? I almost didn't get that one because it's the first, um, the first scent is grape. And I've already got one that is so grape, I'm all like graped out. But that one is just strawberry. Strawberry. Okay. Georgia Calling. Hang on, my camera's ah, getting low. Okay. Georgia Calling. With, okay. Let's guess what this one is. Fresh peaches, buttery pie crust, orange glaze, fresh orange slices, warm vanilla, and yellow cake. These are just so beautiful at the top, I can't stand it. Okay. This is much more of a, um, the buttery pie crust, kind of like a bakery, than the peach. It's really pretty, but it's much more the peaches hidden down in the um, the like a, the heavy pie crust scent, but it's still really really pretty. I'm finding that I don't like the the heavy bakery scents as much because they're kind of heavy to me. But um, okay, still. Now this is why. Now I saw a review on YouTube, and I found this new YouTuber that I'm really really enjoying, and she said that out of she's a sugar scrub just crazed person like I'm becoming and she said that out of all 30 sugar scrubs that she has this is her hands down favorite one period and she can't get enough of it and I think she likes scents similar to the ones that I like so I'm hoping that I'm really gonna like this one and the scent description for this one is rock candy gummy bears cotton candy and bubble gum so Okay, now it's a little, it's a, it's a little runny on top, but normally, I mean, I wouldn't think much of that, except for the other ones were just gorgeous, beautiful. Okay. Okay, this one, it reminds me of another one that I have that I really, really like. Um, but I don't know that I'm smelling... The sense it's described as, with okay, it says. Let me tell you again: rock candy, gummy bears, cotton candy, and bubble gum. There are no actual fruit notes in that. They're just kind of candy descriptions. I'm smelling a little bit of grape. I like it, but I have to say that I like the one I can't pronounce better. <laughs> But it's it's still good. It's still good. So, what did I say about this one? What did I say about this one? Let me see. Let me see this one again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. The Fruity Pebbles. The Oh, my gosh. The Strawberry Jam and the Macaroons and the Fruity Pebbles. So, these two are my favorite. But I'm thinking that this... Yes, I'm thinking I'm going to like these a lot. These, um... I don't know, considering I liked two, oh my gosh, hang on, let me move these, hang on, move these back up in frame. Hang on, I'm just, you know, we're not professional here, we're amateurs. Okay, considering that I liked two and I didn't like two, um, and I like two of these more than these, but still, just the presentation and the, I don't know, I just, I, I'm favoring these right now. But, um, I don't know, I just, I like all of these. I'm just excited about them all. Okay, um, I'm going to cut this um, right here, and then I'm, we're going to move on to something else. <laughs> I keep hitting the camera. That's what I did when I filmed this unboxing last time because I got my camera on something else. But anyway, let's move on. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and 
I'm overrun with wax. And the D-Stash groups on Facebook that I've been telling you guys about, they're just, they're not for me. I would rather give you guys and share with you guys my my extras and you know what I've been showing you guys and telling you guys about I would rather just kind of send that off to you I've already um, Nicole I have not forgotten about you I've got your wax knit envelope and I'm going to send it out to you just as soon as I get to the post office my post office oh it's a nightmare um, it's just a nightmare so I will get there as absolutely soon as possible I have not forgot about you sweetheart um, no, I would rather go ahead and send out to you guys the stuff that I have been sharing with you than just either sell it or trade with, it's just, I don't, dealing with all that and my channel and everything else, you know, my family and my whole life, I'd rather just do this and give back to y'all, um, because I know you're interested in this stuff. Anyway, um, so what I have, because this is good stuff just because it might not be my favorite and you can only melt so much wax just like you can only take so many baths. Here we have today, and I'm not going to go through all the scent descriptions because they're all in my other videos. I have um, the fruitcake from Zape. Zape. Um, I know you're not supposed to put this in as a block. I know you're not supposed to do that, um, but it is inside one of these correct bags. Um, this is... Um, part of the Shotgun Betty, I did try that and I gave some of it away, and the, um, the Helium. This is the whole chunk of American Pie. This is the whole chunk of Tilt-A-Whirl. And these are all from the same company. Um, and then, okay, then I have, let's see. Okay, this is from um, Ramble On that we just saw. This is the Marzipan Princess. And I can't tell you what this smells like. I couldn't find the scent description, but it is kind of sweet and fruity. Um, this is from the Little Olive Tree. This is just a sample. This is vanilla, raspberry vanilla, I think. Um, this is just a little, um, this is from Candy Panda. This was one of the samples that came in with my order. This is one of my favorites from, um, the little olive tree this is a scrub i love so much and i've got another one of these that are i already did melt but this is the one that's so great and i'm finding that if i love something in a scrub i don't necessarily love it in a wax um just kind of being aromatic and in the air and i do not necessarily love something in the air the same as i might love it as a scrub so i'm going to give the other one away and this is serendipitous and this has a fruity description, but it does have uh, one of those floral undertones that I'm finding kind of like maybe more like a Bath and Body Works um, kind of scent. Now, um, these are all from Ramble On too. She gave such a nice, nice sample collection with um, what I ordered. These are all like part of a fall or Halloween preview. And I can't describe all these. They're just, they don't have scent descriptions. They're all fall. And I decided to keep one of them that's kind of like a vanilla. But other than that, they're all like way out of my league. And I can't describe them. And they're very, very generous. So this is a nice little wax haul if you're just getting into it. If you love wax, whatever. Um, Y'all have seen all my wax, and I have gotten one or two orders since then. If it's not my favorite, if I'm not going to use it, um, I need to, I need to just push it out and share the wealth. So, um, anyway, just comment down below on this video and, um, I don't know, just tell me if you're just starting out, if you love wax, if you've tried any of these companies, just, I don't know, let's just talk about wax and leave me a comment and in the next 24 or 48 hours, I don't know, I'm just so crazy right now with everything I've got going on, I can't promise you that I will choose a winner within the next 24 hours, but within the next 24 to 48 hours, I will let you guys know who um, has has gotten this at random, and I will send this out, and Nicole, I will send yours out on the same day. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching this haul video, and I hope that um, you've gotten some good information. I will tell you, because I didn't give you a lot of information as far as ordering from Ramble on Wax or the Bathing Garden, when I do my next sugar scrub video and I um, kind of demo those, I will give you some more ordering information as far as what their process is um, and all that because this is kind of, you know, 
these kind of last a little bit long. These videos kind of tend to last a little bit. So anyway, okay, so I'll go just see you guys next time. I appreciate you watching, and good luck with this. Bye-bye.